This is Ty. He is not the guy you want to guard at LA Fitness. He's six foot eight, has a 40 inch vertical, and can still move his body like a guard. No on paper, he has all the tools to be an unstoppable one on one player. But is he really unbeatable? In this video, I will be scouting the strengths and weaknesses in his game with the goal of helping out his next opponent. If he pays attention, he might be able to avoid ending up like this guy. Alright, so I must confess, before I made this video, I thought all Ty did was run around and be tall and dunk. But after seeing him beat players like Nas and Moon, I realized I was way off. Sure, his offensive bag isn't that deep, but his signature move is one of the best I've seen so far. Ty's snatchback is practically unguardable. To perform the move, he drives hard to the basket, typically going right. He then quickly snatches the ball through his legs and explodes in the opposite direction. It's not normal for a guy his size to be able to stop and go like this, and honestly there's not much defenders can do here except hope he pulls up for a jumper. Some more bad news for defenders is that Ty can actually shoot. Defenders often underestimate his shooting by sagging off of him, which makes sense since he's already 10 feet tall, but sagging off is a big mistake as he has a pretty deadly set shot. Back in college, Ty knocked down a solid 33% from three-point range, and those were in real games, not just one-on-one. -on -one. So if you thought you could just leave him open up top, you were wrong. We still haven't talked about probably his biggest strength, his physical gifts. The dude is a walking mismatch for most YouTubers out there. Again, we're talking 6'8 with a lightning fast first step. And with his height, forget about contesting his shot in the paint. Unless your name is Bodybag, you aren't going to have any chance at contesting up top. Now, while he is tall, he's not the strongest guy in the world, and the defenders that have put up the biggest resistance against Ty played extremely physical defense. The only thing you can do, which Scoob did when he beat Ty in their one-on-one, -on -one, is to play extremely physical in the paint and pretty much foul him every time. But the point is that Ty is gonna have the physical advantage in pretty much every matchup. Now let's talk about his defense. This might be my favorite part of Ty's game. He has a high motor and he's not afraid to defend anyone on the court. His seven foot wingspan is a serious weapon. It allows him to contest and block shots even after he was originally beat on the play. Oh, he still got it! And his presence alone is a huge deterrent. Just having Ty breathing down your neck can make opponents miss layups that they'd usually make. And he's not just a rim protector either. On the perimeter, his long arms make it tough for anyone to get comfortable. He's able to smother his opponents with his length and he forces a lot of tough shots. Overall, it's gonna be hard trying to get an open look against Ty. Moving on to weaknesses, Ty does have several issues that opponents could try to exploit. For starters, he's not a good shooter off the dribble. He has this little step back move going left that he bricks every game, so if you can force him into that shot, you're doing a good job. Ty has also struggled with ball pressure. Guys like Nas and Moon have had some success on the defensive end, even in their losses. They get up into Ty's grill, forcing him to put the ball on the floor. He tends to dribble the ball a little too high, so staying low with active hands can disrupt his rhythm and force mistakes. Oh, there you go, that's good. Beat. Okay. 
And while Ty's defense is impressive, he's not without his flaws. He doesn't slide his feet very well, mainly because he tends to get caught flat-footed. Here against Body Bag, he's in absolutely no position to move his feet, so a simple step back sends him flying to the free throw line. Here against Scoob, he again has his feet stuck in mud, but his wingspan allows him to recover and contest the shot. So while his length and timing often save him, good offensive players will be able to take advantage of these windows of opportunity. Overall, I have Ty ranked in the first tier of my YouTube one-on-one -on -one list, right after Rob. His track record speaks for itself. With wins against J-Law, Nas, and Moon, it's obvious that he's one of the best players on the platform. And before you comment, I know some of you are thinking that, oh, he's just tall. And yeah, height is a huge advantage, but height has always been a part of the game, and I don't think it's fair to punish him for the lack of bigs on the platform. However, these are just my thoughts, so let me know what you guys think about his game, and comment below who I should scout next. Hey,